All right, welcome everybody. This is another episode of Let's Play Inc. Last time uh, we got a little bit of ways in there. We started back at level one. I, you had probably noticed that I had made it all the way up to level eight. These levels do go by pretty quickly. We made it all the way up to level 15 though together and uh, that's why I decided to break the episode. So we're going to go ahead and continue on from there. We are definitely in an area that is totally blind for me, so I have no idea what's coming ahead. Uh, again, if this is new for you, oh, the mechanics of the game are pretty simple. You walk around, you explore things, you jump. You do have a double jump. Um, it's a platformer. It's a really hard platformer, uh, but it's very rewarding. Yeah, there's a bit of discovery to it. You use your paint to kind of fling around and see what you can find. I noticed that there were these hearts last time, and speak of the devil, there's one right above us, which I have no idea how to get to. So I think those are some kind of secret item. Um, yeah. If you have any ideas of how to get that, let me know. For now, we're going to see what we can find. Oh, darn it. Sometimes it is e easier to make the long jump than it is to make lots of little jumps here. So, if you are playing along with this, that is my tip to you. See what you can do with some of that exploration. I know there's got to be a way to get that heart. I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's probably it. There's nothing else over here to jump up on. Ooh. Yeah. There's got to be something with that. Oh, we got it. There we go. Okay, now I have no idea what that did. Your guess is pretty much just as good as mine. This overall seemed like it was a fairly easy level. We've been having some difficulty with the mobs where you had to actually kill all the mobs before you could go on to the next segment. Uh, so I don't know why it's tossing us back like that into what I would consider fairly easy terrain. But I'm not complaining, it does make for a good starting point for this next episode. Okay, it looks like we gotta go upwards. And there's a wall over here, it would appear. Ooh, not a wall. Okay. So in the previous episode, I noted that you do only have one double jump, but uh, that's not quite true. As long as you touch the edge of a surface, you can double jump again. Uh, it's a mechanic that actually is kind of interesting. Most games and actually let's see if it no it doesn't work on the bottom of an object it's only the sides Oof. as you can tell I'm kind of failing at this but yeah so the double jump only seems to work when you initially jump and then when you touch the side of something it resets I guess it resets on the top side too, otherwise... Ooh. Okay, these blocks that are right directly over each other, they are probably the hardest mechanic in the game, but it, uh, it's still possible, it's just a little bit harder. I don't know if uh, maybe I've got a bit of an advantage since I'm using a controller to do this. I think if I was actually using the controls on the keyboard, it would be quite a bit harder. Uh, from what I have played around with those, uh, because a couple of the buttons do do the same thing, like uh, W, for example, jumps you, as well as spacebar will jump you. So you do have the ability to jump and then double jump using those alternative keys. If you're not quite as quick on the finger dexterity, that might be actually a better route for you. I don't know. Um, you should definitely, if you get the game, you should play around with it, try see. There's different ways to play this, uh, even though the controls are fairly simple. I did mention last episode that the controls were WASD for that, 
Now, when I said that A was the jump, I was actually talking about the controller. So I'm using an Xbox controller, so A for that is jump. Uh, like I said, A on the keyboard just moves you left and D moves you right. Okay, so we do have some enemies here. Again, you can jump on top of enemies to kill them. Our little door at the end isn't rainbow colored anymore. That's because we got to kill all of the enemies. But we are fairly proficient in doing that now, so we shouldn't have too much problem. Oh, huh, of course. Of course I would say that, right? As Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Now you can kill yourself if you touch the top of the screen in those blink areas, so you do want to be a little careful there. And we're on to the next level. Okay. Where do we go now? Nothing over here. Maybe downwards? Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it looks like that was the right way to go. So I'm guessing we probably still have to go downwards, but let's get these guys first. Okay, and here's our door. Looks like we gotta get two more guys. Ooh. Okay. Oh no! I think I messed that up. I don't know if we can get up there. I don't know if it matters. So, uh, as you can see, some of these levels are quite easy. Some of them... The mechanics of it just make it very, very, very hard. Uh, I made a comment last game about, or last episode, about how this reminded me a bit of Angry Birds. What I actually meant was this reminds me a lot of Flappy Birds. Um, the names are a little similar, so I mixed those up, but Flappy Birds, if you haven't played it, is a, a game that has really difficult hitboxes. Um, you're very easy to die when you try and fly through these obstacles and this game is kind of like that you move around a lot you're not very sticky Ooh. Um, yeah you're not very sticky you do kind of have a bit of a slide to your movement and so when you land on the surface it's easy to fall off just like that so you do kind of want to try and gauge how far it is and make that landing the first time if you're trying to correct from a mistake it just uh, it spirals downhill pretty quick fortunately this game is fairly forgiving in that it teaches you where stuff is with your color and then it lets you keep that after you die I don't know how we're supposed to make that I guess oh this is a Fairly difficult one to get up. It looks like we got an enemy over here. And somehow I didn't die from that. Okay, I guess I should just assume that they're all short little blocks. <laughs> that was kind of an 
evil trick on their part, but this is going to be difficult. Uh, not only is it blocks on top of each other, but now there's an enemy there to hamper us. So, you kind of get an idea of the difficulty that this is. Those first couple episodes I was powering through it, these ones, um, quite a bit more difficult. Quite a bit more difficult. I'm not sure how many levels there are. I think there's, I heard somebody say that there's upwards of 60 or 70, maybe 75, somewhere around there. Um, so, you know, we do have quite a bit of difficulty and levels that are probably going to be ramping up and... I'm looking forward to it. This game is so beautiful, the music does go along with it quite well. Like I said in the first episode, I do tend to cut out music in these episodes. Oh, I got him. Okay. Um, so now, <laughs> let's just see if we can get the next one without dying. Uh, I do tend to cut out music in these types of episodes just because there's usually some type of YouTube conflict. But with this, it just the immersion with the music and the color is so wonderful. Um, there's only a few games that I really feel that the game has to have it in here, and this, this is one of them. Oh, darn it. You guys are probably screaming at me right now. If, uh... <laughs> This doesn't give you reason to want to buy the game and show me up. I don't know what will. <laughs> they say I'm a little square. Little, little, little square. Where am I going? Oh, I don't know. To death, probably. <laughs> You die a lot, little square. You are just gonna die a lot. If anybody knows what that heart does, you should uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the description. I am curious. I wonder if it makes you get an extra life or something, or how that works. I don't really know. Usually that's what hearts do games like these. Did I mention I'm quite terrible at uh, platformers? I don't think I did. Ah, oh. well, this would be a good time. A good time to mention how horribly bad I am at platforming. There we go. We got it. Oh, that was painful. So painful. Okay, I think we'll probably do... We'll see if we can do this level and then we'll probably cut it off here. I like to keep these episodes a little bit shorter. This game is... I'm rendering it in quite high resolution, so I, it does take a while to upload, but... Uh, you know, it's not just that. Because there are only such a few levels here, I want to try and squeeze this out for as much as I can. So let's see if we can get past this one and then we'll take it from there. One of the things uh, I didn't quite know, but maybe you were able to pick up, is that these little guys, these enemies, they 
bleed out ink so they let you know where your surroundings are. That's kind of a, an interesting mechanic. Oop, almost didn't make that one. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding? You are not kidding. These small blocks, they are my bane. I'm just gonna go this way and die. And die. Can we go up this way? I think we can go up this way. Probably would have been better to go on the outside of that, but oh well, we'll give it a try. That was dangerously close. Looks like we got just two more. This is going to be a hard one, though. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh. Okay, we got another block up here. It looks like another side block. And I don't see any more hearts. There's... Oops. And we're done with that one. All right, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and exit from here. It looks like we're on episode 21. So that was a quick little bit of episode. But we... I mean, level 21. We had a bit of difficulty getting past one of those levels there, so I think it'll probably round itself out. Anyways, I gotta say thank you for joining. Again, this is Ink. You'll find the link below. I don't think there's too many other people playing this on YouTube, so uh, if you do find any other good links, go ahead and leave them in the comments for some of the other viewers. I'm sure they would appreciate seeing um, some other good episodes by other YouTube recorders. And anyway, yeah, once again, thank you for joining.